people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen it's uh, been a while since we have seen the, um, the price of gold or analyzed it and silver as well in today's video we are going to uh, look for both gold and silver analysis that's gonna create uh, two trading opportunities one is right ahead of us and the next one is after that so since the frequency of my update is is not much so I'm gonna discuss both of them uh, the pattern I believe that actually started from over here is yet not complete. We have a flat correction with wave A, wave B and wave C which is a flat correction and then we have a zigzag correction which is A, B, C, right? A, B and a C. We have a detailed 5 wave structure in here. Anytime the price drops we are expecting a sudden pullback all the way down to forward uh, with the structure of A, B and C. Uh, C being a clear 5 wave structure. So this whole structure that actually starts from over here is basically a double three structure that would make it as a W right over here which is a flat correction and our X is a zigzag correction and our Z are, is, is also going to be a zigzag correction. So as we know in double three waves the first wave and the third wave alternate in pattern and that exactly we are expecting today. I hope that I wanted to um, provide some assistance if you see a sharper move on the bearish side understand that sharper move is just not a smaller reaction we are expecting the price drop all the way down we don't have normally these price movements are pretty sharp once we uh, have seen a clearly five wave structure in the break in wave C or we also happen that we have a clearly five wave structure in wave A and then wave C would be a sharper wave in that case we can go long and that will be our second trade so i wanted to discuss both of them here first we're expecting a sharper move down over here and a pull back and wave one and two and then we have wave three and wave four and then wave five this is we are expecting once we have cleared the completed the five wave structure the next phase of move is long um so the reason i discussed both of them because there's a possibility that i wouldn't be able to make uh, an update in a couple of days time and then I'm expecting a sharper move on the die side and maybe in a couple of days time that should be ending um, so let's see how things go we also need to look at silver and see how silver is doing silver has also a uh, structure that you most of uh, you have seen it and see okay silver hasn't created a new has not created a new high as we have seen in gold the reason is because silver is doing the same structure only the price has not gone beyond that so the silver is also indicating that we are actually still dealing with the structure that we are said we are doing only in this case the structure here is double zigzag we have a clear uh, zigzag pattern from the top all the way bottom here and we have another zigzag pattern over here and then we have another zigzag so the so double zigzag with x as uh, a zigzag pattern as well so we have three zigzags basically wave a is a zigzag wave b is a zigzag and we're expecting wave c as a zigzag uh, so we can simply call it uh, uh, wxy as l okay start of the pattern is here the first pattern is a zigzag and then the start second pattern is also zigzag either we are complete here or not and that's another thing but we are expecting a sharper move on the downside giving us a third zigzag that shall complete the sun and then we can expect the prices to go long so i'm expecting the prices to go come right over here and then we can go long right over here again i hope that my update was of some assistance wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye